Welcome to Wayne's World Garage. We're at Doc Dave's house checking out his M37. Sadly, not quite working 100% yet. Engine issues, but we'll figure it out. But nicely done restoration here. Thanks to Tim Holloway from Distinctive Restorations. Look at this thing. Check out the gauges on this thing. Nicely done, Tim. Nice seats, heated seats. I need heated seats in my truck. Power steering. And check out what we got here. It's a 4BT. Sadly, the 4BT had some, some growing pains. So we're pulling off the back bearing. And what happened was when you build the 4BT, apparently you have to modify the oil pickup tube. And uh, that modification failed and it ran without oil for a little bit. But that's the way it goes. So what we did is we um, pulled out the rear most bearing to look at that and see what she looks like. And there's the crankshaft. Crankshaft looks, looks brand new. Crankshaft is brand new. I wouldn't pull anything else apart. And let me show you what the bearing looks like on this. So here's what this bearing looks like. It's not a record player. It's not perfect. It does have some wear in it, but it's not bad. I, it's perfectly smooth. I don't feel anything. And I can sort of agree, throw it back together, run it once you get the turbo fixed. And I mean, this bearing, when you run your fingernail across, if you feel stuff, that means it's scratched. And I can't really, there's nothing here. It's gonna be a problem. It does have a, it's not perfect. You can see a little bit of, a little bit of stuff flew through here on this side, yeah. but it's not you bad. I show you read. This is what was in the oil pan. So hopefully you can see that. Some metal flakes. And and we're there was we're not on gold more rush here either. The oil filter when we cut it open. Yeah, so there's some particles there. And that could also be from the initial build too, some of it. But let's, uh, I sort of agree, because rebuilding this thing is a big deal. So the decision's been made to put this bearing back in. The bearing we inspected is furthest away from the oil pump, so that would have had the most damage. We torqued it to 45, 46, and 66, so the next exercise is 90 degrees. So, um, uh, now hang on a second. So 90 degrees, Dave, is gonna be, you're, we're gonna call you at two o'clock at 2.30? Yeah. So right you're gonna be a little bit against there, okay? So let's go and move it to 90. There you go. That's about all I can do. That's all you can do. All right, let's do the next one. Man, that hangs in there. Well, they don't want it to come off. So these are torque plus angle, which I don't know, I've never really worked on a Cummings before. Did you eat your Wheaties this morning? Uh -huh. Damn, I got that on video, Dave. Good thing you're okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hit you, the socket right. hit you in the head? Uh, that's why I wear a helmet. It didn't break, did it? No. no. Did you get 90 out of it or close to 90? I think pretty close. Pretty close to 90. All right. So now what we want to do is the take off a bearing cap off the rod. So we need to rotate the assembly so we can reach that. So let's can uh, we pick. Can we? Uh, no, we're going to do the one furthest from the oil. All right. Well, frankly, the main bearing's not so bad looking. Let's take a look at a rod bearing. And see what a rod bearing looks like. Let's crank these guys and see what you got. Go for it. Hey. Oh my God. Where's your breaker bar? You think I need to? Yes. Okay. Yes, I would not. Well, only because I value your knuckles. And I know you're not doing surgery anymore on dogs. Now this is not a 12-point uh, a socket, is it? It's a six-point socket? Uh, yes. Okay. There you go. So it's kind of like, kind of like the main bearing. It's got some stuff we don't want to see. It's not perfect, but it's not big. Want to grab a... But it's not catastrophic, you know, and that's what, I think that's what we're looking for. It's not catching our fingernail. Yeah, so hang on one second. All right, so it's not, it's not perfect. You've had some stuff go through here, but it's certainly, it's probably good for another 200,000 miles. Well, I'd say let's put her back together. Let her, let her rip. All right, thanks for watching another episode of Wayne's World Garage. The real question is, what would you do with this engine? Taking this engine out and rebuilding it again is a big deal. Do you think we should do it? Do you think we should leave it in there? Leave a comment, please. Take care and thanks for watching.